Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you, Candy, for that wonderful introduction. So anyway, I hope that everyone is uh, doing well. And uh, let's make this uh, afternoon's affair a bit interactive. So can uh, if you're feeling good right now, can you click thumbs up, please? Thumbs up. Nice. Yeah. At least I'll, uh, even if we're far away from each other, we I feel your presence here no, in the comfort of my studio. So anyway, um, let's do it. Now, our topic for today is, of course, it's all about life insurance and why we need it. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, our lesson now is a question. Why is life insurance important? Okay, I'm going to ask you, if it's important to you, click thumbs up. If uh, it's not, click a smiley. And if you're still undecided as of this moment, you click heart. Sige nga, let me see. Wow, oy, may mga heart pa rin, no? So let me try to uh, give you, impart some knowledge to you. Baka ma-move natin yung heart. Oh, wala, walang naglalagay ng smiley. So I think some of you guys feel that it's good, it's important, but some feel that's still undecided as of this moment. So, uh, life hackers, let's get ready. So, as you see on the slide now, no, the moment you were born, there was a promise. There was a guarantee that is given to every one of us. No? Can you guess? To some, it might be change. Diba? Nababasa natin yan. Change is something that is permanent and it's guaranteed. Or, to some of you, it will be taxes. No? Yung taxes guaranteed. Pagka nagtatrabaho ka na, automatic may tax. Or the moment that you have money, you buy from the store, oy, guaranteed yung tax. But if we go back to basics, no, there is some, there is a guarantee that was promised by our creator. And what is the promise? Next slide, please. Ayan. That the truth would be if you are born, the guarantee that is every one of us will die. That's a tra tragic truth. No, you can't change that. No, there's no one who invented the fountain of beauty. It hasn't been found yet. So all of us will experience this. Okay, ba? Thumbs up, ba yan? Or first time you lang ba ito na rinig, No, um, tama, no. It's normal. Lahat tayo mangyayari yan sa atin, no. And the only thing that uh, we don't know, no, would be move to the next slide, please. This is the painful truth. We won't always know when, where, or how it will happen. So yan yung uh, that's the roulette of life, no. Hindi mo alam, but it will, and we know it will. So if it happens, then if we move to the next slide, do you know what will happen to you, your family, your friends when all of us pass away? Meron ba tayong idea? Mag-click nga ng thumbs up yung may idea. At heart yung mga undecided. Talagang heart yung ginamit ko no? for pag medyo undecided ka. No? Wala tayong thumbs down eh. Ang daming heart, mm -hmm. hindi natin, we're not sure. Kasi I'm, wala namang naka-experience sa atin yan, di ba? Siguradong sigurado, kahit kakatapos lang ng Halloween. But you know, um, let me share with you a video no, from one of uh, uh, my favorite person in the universe. no, That he was asked the same question. Tignan natin kung anong sagot niya. Direct, can you play the video please? What do you think happens when we die, Keanu Reeves? I know that the ones who love us will miss us. Aww. 
Ladies and gentlemen, nagustuhan niyo ba yung video? Thumbs up kung nagustuhan. Wow, no? Very emotional. He's correct. Sabi nga niya, the ones who love us will miss us. You know the feeling, no? When, you, when I heard that video, wow, yun pala yun, no? Um, what will happen to us, no, is uh, what we should be thinking of is what will happen to those people who are left behind. Next slide, please. Because as we all know, no, as responsible life hackers you are in this afternoon's affair, we want our loved ones to be okay even if we are not around. Agree? Ayan, maraming nag-agree. Thank you for your ano, for your hearts, no, your symbols. Tama, no, gusto natin talaga na okay sila. Next slide, please. But there are a lot of things that happen, no. If some, if if the breadwinner dies, there's a lot of responsibilities that is left behind, no. Um, there are liabilities and there will be uncertain futures that will happen, especially to the children, to the families, no. Because even if the breadwinner dies, um, household ex expenses will not stop. Every day living expenses of you, your brother, your sister, your mom, no, your grandparents will not stop. You guys will buy food. You guys will uh, will uh, buy medicines. And most of you are students. Yan ang pinakamalaking expense. No? Yan yung fear ng malaming parents. If the breadwinner dies, how will my children be able to afford going to the best schools? No? Like, kung saan kayo nag-aaral. And of course, bills. Ang dami. Electric bill, um, water. No? Lalo na ngayon, may dagdag. Internet. Oh, phone bills. Um, to some of you, who are already contributing to, to the family, alam nyo yan, no? yung every month na binabayaran. And for your parents naman, they also have mortgages. So, example, kakabilin lang ng bagong bahay or bumili ng kotse yung family nyo. No? Kasama yan. Expense pa rin yan. Hindi yan mawawala. Hindi yan kasama na dadalin sa uh, kabilang buhay ng, uh, ng breadwinner. May iwan sa atin yan. May iwan sa ating uh, nagmamahal sa kanila. And also, kahit because we are very responsible citizens, no? Taxes is always there. If somebody passes away, meron pa rin, tinata meron pa rin silang kailangang bayarang tax. Clear? Okay, next slide. Okay, now, if you're able to understand that if something happens, gusto naman natin na masaya, kung may maiwan, gusto naman natin na they will miss us, sabi nga ni Keanu Reeves. Ayaw naman natin yung experience yung something na, na alam mo, na matatawa kayo dito, no? Ito, na, naririnig, napapanood ko to sa mga movies, yung pag namatayan, nako, yung tatay mo namatay, iniwanan ako ng sal, namakmak na utang, yung bahay natin, binenta, tapos tayo, umalis tayo, ganito, ganyan, ang dami. So, ayaw natin, no? Maraming... Filipino ang ganyan nang nangyayari on a regular basis and I will give you a good example. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet this boy, si Boy X. Si Boy X, and we kilalanin natin si Boy X. Next slide please. Ayan, may guardian angel ako na nag-slide ng nag move ng aking slide. So ladies and gentlemen, si Boy X, no, ang profile niya is his an average guy, no? from an average family with three siblings. Mom works for uh, the government. Dad is an operations manager for a bus company. Pretty good job. No? It, uh, it pays well for and uh, can support three siblings, uh, uh, three kids. No? And the father was a, the main breadwinner. Si mom is just there because no, during that time, dapat yung mga mom, they also have birth. So all busy people, no? Uh, but pretty average, similar to a template of a normal Pinoy, no? Then, kilalanin pa natin much further. Boy X has dreams. 
like most of you guys, kaya nga kayo nandito sa Life Hackers. Eh. Most probably, yung marami sa inyo, kung meron ng online business kayo, gusto nyo pa magkaroon ng mas malaking business, yung mas formal. And to some of you, no, Boy X is like you na gusto mag-aral sa top university in the Philippines. Kung ano man yon, hindi ko sasabihin. Baka marami akong makuwang uh, smiley face dito at ano, kung ano man yung top university. Whoever you represent, that's the best university. no. But also, career. Gusto rin magkaroon ng career ni Boy X. No? Pinangarap niya rin maging doktor, pinangarap niya maging engineer or ekonomista. Baka nga one of baka nga isa sa dreams niya maging presidente rin ng Pilipinas so hindi natin alam. Next, move on to the next. Unfortunately, ang daming gusto niya, marami siyang pangarap kasi na magkaroon ng sariling business, makapag-aral sa magandang paaralan at meron siyang trabaho na gusto ma-achieve. Unfortunately, when Boy X was young, his father passed away without any life insurance. And for all we know, hindi rin niya alam if the family has enough income of, or savings to support them. So, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think happened to him and his family? And this move on, and I'll continue the story. Boy X Dreams, ito, just to remind you, business, top university, and a career, what happened? Next slide, Nawala. All of these were gone because it became very difficult for him to achieve this because there is no uncertainty in terms of income. There was no uncertainty if they will be able to get back on their feet because when when the breadwinner died, it punched a big hole in their budget. So, undaming uncertainty. So, what happened? Next, please. This is what happened. Sad. Sacrifice. Adapt and deal. Okay. Sacrifice. Boy X sacrifice. Boy X and his family sacrifice their comfortable lifestyle. Number two, because they need to adapt, no? To without the breadwinner, maybe he tried to work part time. Maybe he decided not to go to school muna. No, mauna muna si ate. No, a sacrifice ko muna. No, and I will adapt muna. Magtrabaho muna ako. Then of course, lastly, they have to deal with financial challenges of, you know, sacrificing kung saan school papasok. Baka pwedeng hindi na lang dun sa dream school niya. Or baka ang yung course na gusto niya, baka kailangan dun na lang tayo sa Siguradong makakakuha ako agad ng trabaho. So these are the following things that will happen if people were not prepared. It's sad. They have to sacrifice. They have to adapt. Like most of us, like what's happening right now, we adapt. And we deal with it. Right? Next slide, please. If they only had life insurance and uh, his family would have, his family would have been more prepared. There will be a financial support where a life insurance product will be able to replace the income of someone that passed away. They will be able to live the same life even if they miss the one that they love. Next. Because life insurance is a way to protect the people we leave behind. It supports us in terms of financial in, in, uh, financial instability that might happen uh, if we lose a member, no? especially the, the breadwinner. It's pretty critical no? um, because the person who provides financial support is the one that needs to be protected the most. Now let's go Mona to because you you guys need to understand the value of life insurance. I'll provide you naman that's the, that's the case study but I'll provide you textbook definition of what life insurance is. Life insurance is defined as protection against loss of income that would result if an insured passed away. So this is pretty common. The reason why I started my lecture and asked what's that what is the what was the guarantee of our creator? 
somebody needs to die so we will all die so somebody for a life insurance policy for us to be able to provide the benefit somebody needs to pass away where second bullet is the name beneficiary or the the people that is left behind will receive the benefit no and will help them get back on their feet no so they will use the proceeds no for education pending ganon pending pwede rin for uh, let's say the mom wala siyang trabaho then they can they have budget to so open a new business or mag-apply no kung gusto niya mag-work and let's see sige nga uh, next slide nga tayo and you will see the different components or the different personalities that transact or that compose a life insurance product there's always an insured the person where the person who actually buys life insurance this is the guy who will request for the age and the age will determine how much life insurance uh amount he will pay for the life insurance company now the insured the dad assigns the policy to the wife the wife now is called a beneficiary so if in case something happens to the insured where the life insurance policy is enforced and paid for the wife will receive the benefit from from his from her husband's life insurance policy malino na pretty basic no the, the breadwinner and the people who were left behind can be assigned as beneficiary so that's the ba basic concept of life insurance so, but there's an instance that will happen. Either the, the individual will die or get sick. So, I'll discuss that uh, further. Back. Next slide, please. Okay. Now, the mode of exchange for the life insurance product that you buy in the, you buy in the industry today, the payment is called premiums. So, there's a certain, there's a certain amount versus uh the coverage or magkano yung mapupunta sa pamilya if something happens no um i'll give you an example i am uh i got my i got up my policy when i was age 40 no, i'm turn i'm turning 42 this year then my premium is roughly around 36 i pay 36000 pesos for a 2 million policy that protects me against death and sickness. So, medyo malaki, no? To me, imagine niyo yung 36,000, I only have to pay for 20 years. Tapos, so it's just what? 3,000 pesos per um, per month, no? And there are other life insurance policies that are even cheaper, kung yung mga basic life insurance plan lang. Meron nga dyan yung um, if you guys are familiar, those who are uh, when when it was when we were still allowed to fly no yung sa Cebu Pacific or yung mga plane pag nag po, nagpa fly ka di ba parang 250 pesos lang yung insurance tapos meron ka ng um, 200,000 na uh, coverage so technically you pay a fraction of the price for the benefit that you will get and that price is called premium and to make it even more friendly and uh, affordable you can pay the life insurance company in different modes monthly 12 months quarterly for biannual twice a year then annually so payment options were present for to make life insurance accessible to a lot of filipinos next slide please now there there are two different types of life insurance in the philippines no i uh can mentioned the yung uh yung profile ko no I, I am a champion of the conventional guaranteed insurance plan, which we call it traditional life or ordinary life. The main focus for this product is really a certain amount. If someone dies at a certain period of time, they provide the benefit, they provide the coverage no, or the sum assured, we call it. But because of innovation, no, um, in my stint uh, back in 2000 and one 2000, 2001 September the Philippines launched a revolutionary life insurance product to address the needs of Filipinos of insurance protection and savings they rolled it into one 
and they want a product that will be able to address their needs for investments as well so they want control of the they want control of the policy so traditional life is your basic life insurance for, for guaranteed protection then the variable unit link or VUL these are the products where it's combination of debt benefit and savings in one okay basic so you'll be able to, uh, we, there, there are handouts that will be provided to you and you can do your research online if you want to actually do a deep dive on the basic types of life insurance. So I'll move on to the next. Let's now understand the different types of traditional policy because there are diff for the traditional policy, meron ding may iba ibang type. Yung term plan, these are products where this is the most basic. So, if kaya siya may term, ibig sabihin, there's a time frame from, let's say, one year. So, after one year, you pay for the you pay for the insurance plan and you're covered one year. The next year, hindi na. But you are allowed to renew. And there, and that's it's so inconvenient. Pwede ka nalang tanggihan. Di, ko na, di kita i-renew. No? That's why there are developments that happen where, sige, we buy an insurance policy that will I will pay for the next 100 years and it automatically renews up to year 100. So, that is whole life. And then suddenly people were, ay, ayoko na, gusto ko, marami akong pera ngayon, gusto kong tapusin yung pagbabayad ko in 5 years, 10 years, or 20 years. Now came the limited pay whole life policy. Then the endowment plans came in when life insurance companies tried to market insurance policies, hindi lang specific to debt, pwedeng retirement, pwedeng education. So, sabi nila, 100 years is too long. No? Can we make it shorter? Because I want to use the the, the policy, the, the sum assured for educational benefit or for my retirement. So, endowment came in where nabibigay yung benefit as early as 65 years or pwedeng 15 years, lalo na nung ginawa nilang yung endowment for for education. They pay for five years, then they get the benefit on the 15th year, may pang-enroll na yung bata. Or pay for 10 years and we get the benefit at age 65, ginagamit for retirement. So this is basic life insurance product where the first three were used specifically for debt benefit. Then eventually, the industry integrated other needs as well, retirement, savings, and um, education plan as well. So that's the different types of uh, traditional policies or the protection plans. Move on to the next. Yeah. Next slide, please. Ayan. So guys, I think I nawala ako sandali. Are you are we still okay? Can you can you give me a thumbs up? Yan, no? Is the is the topic interesting? Heart naman. If the topic is interesting, give me a heart, no? Ayan. If you're enjoying the session, can you give me a smiley if you're enjoying the session, no? Kasi kung boring ako, nako kailangan ko mag-adjust. Great, 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 great. Okay. Now let's move on. Let's move on to what variable life is. So what is variable life? Ito naman yung uh, new age na life insurance policy. This is actually a combination of life insurance plan then savings component. Savings. Ayan. Okay. Slide one slide back tayo ng konti. Ayan. Pa thumbs up nga uli. Baka do parang okay ba? I, can I continue? Ayan. Okay. Variable life basic 
um, it provides savings, it provides protection. The only difference with variable life is this. Let's not complicate things. It, the different variable life product in the Philippines is subdivided into payments. If you, are, if you want a product that you pay once, that's the single pay policy. It has very minimal life insurance protection. Mababa lang, 25%, 125% technically uh, of the amount that you paid for the life insurance company. Regular pay, ito naman yung almost similar to whole life policy. It has high insurance cover, but you pay it regularly. So, dere, dere, so. Okay. Then, limited pay plans. Of course, this is an accommodation. Kasi yung, yung maraming tao cannot commit to paying 100 years. They have difficulty in commitment. So, um, they can actually opt to pay 5, 7, 10, and 15. Doon sa traditional, meron din yun eh. No? Uh, meron ding limited pay whole life. So, unit link eh, or variable unit link is just combination. Malinaw, thumbs up kung malinaw, ladies and gentlemen, life hackers, malinaw. So if there are further questions that you might have, I'll be able to address this. And I think there will be sessions that you will still see me. No, na will uh, I'll be able to actually guide you through the process. No? Okay, next. Next slide. Life insurance is not just for debt benefit. In the history of life insurance in the Philippines, a lot of life insurance companies created products specific to supporting different propositions. There is proposition on protection, which is debt. There is products for health. There are products that were created for education, like the endowment plan I mentioned and the VUL plans. Savings, VUL is superior, and endowment plans is next. Investments, VUL plans gave... Uh, Life insurance companies, the ability to play around with investments and plug it in their insurance policies. Then recently, no, because of uh, one reason uh, we are, well, AIA Philippines is so aggressive in supporting Filipinos with, the, with all the concerns that they have. Just right after the lockdown March, no, we launched a medical product as well. So, meron na ring medical product ang life insurance business. So, the propositions, and dami ng iteration. So, you guys are life hackers. There are other needs that we, we might not yet found that you'll be able to help us. So, let's see what things that you can come up, right? Next slide, please. Now, here is the question. What's next for us? For us life hackers. The next slide that I will describe to you is the desired future of my generation. Because my generation, we want insurance innovation. We want to go beyond offering protection products, which we already did. We were a bit successful in endowment and all of the NDUL plans, investments like that. But that is my generation's desired future. And I'll describe it to you on the next slide. We have created you know, some innovations already that allow us to achieve our goals in creating comprehensive and integrated consumer experience that provides service beyond life insurance cover. The items in red are available already. Fill and vitality. I don't have time to describe it. Go, go to our website. You'll be able to see what fill and vitality is. And we also have My AIA. Ito yung parang ano namin. Uh, My AIA is our client portal. And there are at, and two other items that in my mind, we feel that this is going to be big in the next five to 10 years. Next slide, please. So I do hope that uh, you will be able to help me achieve the insurance within an ecosystem dream for my generation, but I hope you can still push the idea further because AIA Vitality is a comprehensive health and wellness program. It's there. We have started seamless interaction with the product and our customers via my AIA. We understand that there's a need for long-term savings in the Philippines because majority of our money is in the bank. 
and we are having trouble, where do we want to invest it? No, some already tried Bitcoin, some already tried Ax Axie and all of these, but how about life insurance companies? Pwede naman, no? Because we have the we have the support system and we have the expertise to do long-term savings with protection. And technology is so fast, e-commerce, sobrang bilis in the last how many years, no? A lot of people have come up with, uh, a lot of businesses have come up e-commerce strategies for all of their plans. So basically, what is life insurance within an ecosystem? A simple analogy would be Apple, they were game developers, right? So th then being a game developer, they wanted more. They expanded to creating computers. Then eventually now they're part of your lifestyle. You are within the Apple ecosystem if you're an Apple user. So in life insurance, we also want to be similar to uh, similar to the Apple experience. No? Can we do it? Thumbs up. Can we do it? Life hackers, thumbs up. If we can, heart, if no, we cannot. Oh, oh lot, na, sobrang daming thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you for that. Move on to the next. Okay. So now, before I end my presentation, my question to you guys in that short span of time that you've spent with me, do you understand now the value of life insurance? Thumbs up if yes. Smiley if Undecided, a uh, smile if no, heart if undecided. Wow, yan, meron pang, meron pang, pa unti unting undecided, no? Kailangan pa ng more, uh, more discussions, no? Yung value of life insurance. Okay, next. K tignan nga natin kung gusto nyo bang malaman kung ano yung nangyari kay Boy X na walang life insurance policy. Aba, daming nag-up pa, parang, uy, nag-excite. Ano nga nangyari kay Boy X? So, malamang hindi na siya boy ngayon, no? And um, all of his struggles, fast forward to today, nasa na kaya si Boy X? Next slide, please. He is now speaking in front of you as head of products for AIA Philippines, educating more Filipinos about the value of life insurance helping more Filipinos live a healthier, longer, and better life. I am a good example of someone who struggled and who studied to understand the value of life insurance and will not let it happen to my family and to yours. So the challenge would be, next slide please, because the, the item that I mentioned a while ago was the decide future of my generation. Dear Life Hackers, I hope that you can help AIA Philippines plan for your desired future. So thank you very much and good afternoon. <laughs>